start with just the frame and then you put all the pieces together. We have about eight inches of travel in the front and seven inches of travel in the back. And so that travel is compression there, how much it moves. Um, for this aspect of mountain biking, we like our suspension really stiff. So that means it takes a lot of pressure to compress our suspension. Because I like to use flash a lot, and I normally just use the strobes that fit on top of the camera, for the normal size jumps, which are sort of five, four, five, maybe six foot tall lips, coming to something like this, where the lips are sort of double that size, my flashes need to be twice as far away from the action. So the amount of light that I can get onto the riders is much less. So my settings need to be completely different, and I have to wait until the light is even lower than I normally do. So it does make things a little bit more tricky. Hope Technology, they make these brakes here. You know, honestly, they're one of the best brakes I've ever ridden. They're very powerful. They're like car brakes, hydraulic, four piston disc brakes. And, you know, when you're hitting big jumps, especially these kind of jumps, you're going really fast. And to have that stopping power is a lot, you know, confidence inspiring. Basically, this drone is insane. It has a micro four-third sensor, and uh, at the moment we have a 17mm lens, which is f1.7, and uh, that's really good for low light, and uh, it gives a nice depth of field to the shots. It goes zero to 80 kilometers an hour in four seconds, top speed of 107 kilometers an hour, and in sports mode, it's absolutely insane. With these bikes, we don't need all the gear range. We really only need seven. And um, there's about four or five different companies out there that make this, this system. This is called a derailleur. This is a cassette. And this is your front chain ring here. Um, this is a shorter, a shorter cage on this derailleur. So there's not, it's meant to stay up tucked into your bike and be less vulnerable to being hit. So I'm shooting this project on the Red Epic in slow motion. I'm able to shoot this at 120 frames a second. Uh, which is, you know, when you see these riders fly through the air, it's often easy to miss the, the very technical movements that they make. This can, you know, I can capture that in a, in a beautiful way. We're all very good friends here, you know? and um, we all want to be on the same program, we'll all be doing the jumps together. So we are kind of using each other as, you know, with feedback. One guy goes for the semi-slick tire and he's like, oh, it's so good, or oh, it's slippery, and then we'll kind of base our decisions off of that, or if you have a certain tire set up that you really like to run and, you know, that gives you the most confidence, then you stick with that. Or... 